Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 2, where uh, last episode we finally located Angelica after being called to advance as Dinah, as we learnt the nun we passed was our hidden friend. We now join her in attempting to show her strength to her father, Marquis Rogna, and taking a detour to scout the site of future battle. We've taken a trip along the Nortia Highway, spotting a shrine we can't yet enter, as we now reach this path's end. Fire! Let's get this over with. <sighs> My turn! Second form. Damn! The more force levels up, the more CP that adds to me. Now's our chance. The more I can always just keep gotcha. spamming this every single turn. Every Very exists. well. Now, an opening. I can do this. But can you? Cut. Now. Green finisher. Gotcha. Brilliant. Leave Roll CP return on the kill after all. Die. My turn. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. Easy. Level up for Emma. I'm so glad. As did she learn Serene Blessing 2. And that now heals 8% HP. CP plus 50. Cures Kaven Elements. Almost just a straight recover. We're almost to the barrier. Fire! So, bail back. Put your veil back on, sure. We just want to check things out in our scouting, do we? So we reached the Schwartz Slash Barrier. Wow, the Schwartz Slash Barrier is so imposing. It's quite the contrast to the elegance of the Twin Dragons Bridge. I've heard much of it from my father, but seeing it in person is much more impressive. Well, Marquis Rockton has always been something of an aggressive hardliner. That probably has an influence on his provincial army and the architecture too. Hm, you know him all too well. This is what father's using as his base for operations too. Which means this is where we'll be settling things in a few more hours. Now, should we begin our investigation? Hmm. You really are scarily good at acting all innocent, Angelica. Let's just be careful not to draw a suspicion to ourselves. Uh oh. Got some extra AP. Cool. For being nosy and wanting treasure chests. I'll take that. A rest area we can get into here. We could just drive up to them as well. Of course, we've got no bikes, no horses. No, nothing like that. Courageous, come back to me! I mean, I'm not, I guess, like, I'm not really impressed with big barriers that they build anymore, considering what we've seen happen to Grelia Fortress. I guess it's just not really that impressive at this point. But none of you! If you don't have a permit, you aren't going through. Do you understand? It's just that you leave. Sister, <laughs> our civilian facility to your left. Try to avoid loitering. I'll avoid loitering. Find my me. My my, we don't get too many customers these days. Welcome to the Schwartz Dresh Ballier. You'd best be careful around here, though. The Nortia Provincial Army has more than its share of feisty soldiers in it. If you find yourself in trouble, though, don't think twice about giving me a call. I'll do what I can to take, talk them down. I thought he was going to say take them down. I'd like to see that. I paid to see that. Also, oh, barely any money. What the hell? Expecting to get more money than that from all the fighting I've been doing. Not so much. I think we found someone. Oh, my wonderful Vincent. How many more cold nights must I endure without you to keep me warm? M Margarita, is that you? Reen, class seven. Are you all here to see me? How sweet. <laughs> This is the last place I'd expect to find a student, that's for sure. <laughs> it's nice to see that you're well, Margarita. Ah, uh, yes, it was definitely worth taking a massive detour to find out if one of your schoolmates was well or not. Speaking of, what are you doing here? I hear that most of the upper-class students stay at the academy. Did you decide against joining them or something? Well, I stayed at the academy for a while. My family sent someone to pick me up and take me home before too long, though. I stuck off on the way back here, and here I am! 
And you thought that was a good idea because... Silly Green, surely you don't have to ask? Because the love of my life, Vincent, is still at the Academy. I can bear to be separated from him for a single moment longer than I must. Hmm. Vincent Florida? Haven't heard that name for a while. He's a hard guy to forget, though. I'll give him that. I'll say... Then again, I only know him as Ferris's older brother. He's held in high esteem upon the second years, too. He's so devoted, Margarita. Love truly works in mysterious ways. One good weirdo deserves another. <laughs> Two star-crossed lovers separated by war. It's a tragedy for the ages. Though I have been trying to return to the Academy ever since. Unfortunately, I've now ended up stuck here. I don't know much we can do to help you out right now. Yeah, but we are planning on taking the Academy back from the Alliance. So stay safe. I hope you'll get that done sooner rather than later. There's every chance this area could end up a battleground at some point, so just take care of yourself, got it? There's no worry, need to worry about me. No war, catastrophe, man or beast will stop me from reuniting with my future husband. That's encouraging, I guess. So we've come all this way to find Margarita. You all seem busy, but I refuse to occupy my mind with any false methods of getting back to the academy right now. If you find a way, make sure that I'm the first one you inform. And when I can be reunited with my dear Vincent, I will. Welcome. Hey, oh, you guys are not a bunch, aren't you? Well, not as odd as that uh, other customer over there, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone that odd. <laughs> yeah, you, you're telling me. That uh, seems to be all we can do here. All right, let's go back and head for the mine. Do you mind if we stock up in Ruwer first? The game's telling me what to do. Fishing spot here. Doesn't look it, does it? You will do as I say. I thought it was fishing spot that side. Is there war that side? Probably, but I doubt that there's a fishing spot. Oh no, that's Graham. Probably a fishing spot here now. Alright, I guess it's time for a bit of this, don't you? Well, that was a long highway, had a lot of treasures, uh, a lot of various other stuff too, a lot of experience for us on top of that. Can't really complain. <laughs> there was a lot to earn, a lot to get. Fire! Let's get this over. A lot to do. My turn. I don't know why I went into battle with these guys, but they look no! such, such easy targets. Gotcha! I just had to. I'll handle this. Right. Fire. Leave this to me. When I think Here about I missing go. experience by walking past monsters, I hate it. Now. Gotcha. Very well. Right. Now's our chance. Got you. Killing blow, Reen. And Lord to finish the job. Not enough. My turn. Don't be kidding me. Okay, it's safe for now. I mean, he's about to get 89, more or less. I'm very close to, but I'm just amazed that I don't get very much extras here. I want money. I want monetary supply as well. I'm not being much lucky with that. You to be a problem to just get past. At least we've got a scan for you now, I guess. Fire! The advantage is ours. Let's move. Ha! Okay, age delay on no both. Problem. We should be able to just fight this guy on the way back. Now's our chance. Got you. Knock him down for this. a fair bit. Is everyone else still close enough? Great. Uh... My turn. Target you. I think the fate, fate spinners give me enough experience to kind of level Rena. Let's move. No problem. Finally got that pierce too. Now. Got you. I'll handle this. <laughs> Poor fate spinner. My turn. I'm pretty sure that Laura lowers her sword when it's coming to her turn. You still have a lot is that of normal? training to do. Is that just something I've only just noticed? One more battle for Reed's level. Yeah, I'm actually turbo moding. Kinda makes sense in a little bit. 
Well, it's when you enter the battle, it's crazy when you enter a battle. Second form. Damn! Bit much happened. Gotcha! Give me that level up. You're finished! Very well. Are we by fish? No problem. Now's our chance. Got you! Leave this to me. Let's call the CP back. That wasn't I'll enough to kill this. that guy either. Wow. Surprise. My turn. Actually, here's a question Sit. I don't think I've asked yet. If I seal That's someone. That. Let's keep no moving. Really wanted to ask if I seal someone. There we go. Level up. Can they actually counter? Never Great. thought about that. Green, 89. Ooh, Laura, bad. 86. Let's continue on my way back. We're nearly back to Lua. It's been a very long journey. Am I get the snake? I don't know. Am I get the bug? I don't know. Oh, we're finally home. Right. Well, let's head into Ormond's Rule because I can now upgrade some people's weapons. Uh, no, no, no. Customize weapons. There we go. I think you can customize that upstairs as well, to be honest. So let's get the Catalpa leveled up a little bit. 19 U material currently. Logical Shaft. Get the glare brand and the moon shadow done. And that should be everyone that we got with us at the moment. Life is good. The full upgrade obtained. Look how much earth step have I got? I want money, I could just trade that. S -s trade rate. Make much of money. Mucho dinero. Right, so that's done. Thank you, mister, for letting me pass. Is there more in this town to explore and discover? To give our whales to? Fifth Division of Rhineford? Oh my god, everyone's got new dialogue on top of everything. What the hell? They changed all the dialogue for the town at this point? Doesn't that mean I have to go around again and kind of check everyone out? What if one of them has a book? Something tells me they probably don't have at this point. Yep, things have completely changed in town. Oh, hello again. Ah, you're chatting with a sister now. Speaking of sisters, if you did one of the four's infamous twins. Well, the two of you would make for a lovely pair. I can't say I mind the view when there's only one of you either. Um, sorry. Is there a single guild the academy that you haven't tried to heal on now? We'll explain what just happened when things calm down a bit. Right. Sure. Lynn displays all of our goods so beautifully. She said she was part of an art club at her old academy. <laughs> it really shows. She's such a nice girl, which is why it breaks my heart to think of all she's been through to get here. What am I doing? I think good will come from letting myself get all gloomy. The new girl says that all the students of that fancy academy of have been locked up inside the place. He lies is nothing but a bunch of inhuman monsters. How could you lock up a sweet girl like Linda? What did she do to deserve that kind of treatment? Wait, did I say Linda again? I meant Lind Lind! You'll never get it right. It's fine. I never have name problems. So you should feel ashamed about yourself. I never call anyone by the wrong name. It's all good. It kind of bothers me that those Jaegers are running things over the mine. They're just rubbing the wrong way. Selling their pride for a handful of mirror. Disgraceful, isn't it? Indeed it is. From the sound of things, Heimdall's under complete alliance controls these days. I do hope His Majesty is alright. I used to think that for all his flaws, Lord Rockner was an honourable man. I won't make that mistake again. The city's ask of for himself. It only exists to supply the provincial army with more and more weapons. Factories used to be places where people poured their heart and soul into making things. Now they're tools. People do what they're told, nothing else. It's depressing. The Marquis has told us to find Lady Angelica no matter what. I believe he suspects she will try something. Given how fond the people are here over, I wouldn't be surprised shocked if she did. If you had any trouble break out in this province, I'm sure we'd face immediate censure from the Alliance, though. I can imagine all the pressure weighs heavily upon him. 
Brewer have prospered thanks to the high quality iron from the Saxon mine, the wonderful things we used to make. Making things are coming up with new inventions of this city's essence. Please don't try to take our pride and joy away from us. I'm not doing anything like that! It's not me, anyway. Time to shine! Yep. Time to break the rules of the nun. Definitely like under her nun's habit. She's definitely wearing her usual combat stuff after all. I don't need to go through these checks every single time I come in. I'm here every week. You think they remember my face by now? Oh, very good. Going through. Can I? Where is it the fight in the West goes more ferocious by the day? Hm, that's what we need to take by after all. I for one would jump at the chance to demonstrate the power of the Northern Provincial Army. I really don't think going inside is a good idea. Everyone inside kind of knows who I am. I'll spot us immediately. But yeah, when you put it that way. It's frustrating not to be able to do anything, though. It is, but that's just the way things are right now. We'll have to try to help some other way for the time being. I'm amazed that they changed all the text at this point. Is this where the Alliance makes all of their weapons? It's huge! My, it's even more impressive than I heard it was! We got a new customer here earlier. He seems really down the dumps, though. No idea what's got him so upset, either. Honestly, being near him is kind of dragging me down. Anton's here. I cannot believe Papri. We finally at long last get another customer and she treats him like that. I can't afford to lose even one at a time like this. I'm afraid I'll have to take matters into my own hands here. Where are you, Anton? I'm going to stay here in Rua for a while and look for Ricky. I can't give up on trying to find him. He's my best friend. Only one text, though. It's interesting the periods in time it chooses to change text in trails, I've got to say as well. Like, I wouldn't have thought this would be a time where it does. I'd thought it'd like after everything is resolved here. I really don't like the way the Alliance does things. I'm disappointed in Marquis Rogner for aligning himself with them. They're a bunch of cowards who are struck me as more chivalrous than they deserve. At this point as well, we're used to me talking to everyone, right? A, a sister in a weapon shop? <coughs> I, I assume you're looking for a little something for self-defense. Perhaps the stun rod might suffice. You can adjust its power so it can be useful in all sorts of different situations. But it's not really my style. There's something about feeling your enemy crumple after a good punch, you get me? A, a, a good punch? Angelica, please don't give her a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, I can't quite help myself sometimes. Can I actually buy weapons for you? Obviously not. You just got gear that's ready. Nothing like a good punch, eh? Just kind of looking at gear now, going, hmm. Uh, do I? Don't I? I just don't like that big ADF down. I can definitely buy some more shoes now for people. That powers up some people quite a bit, so. Not that you need the strength, but we'll give it to you. A little bit more of an increase there. Well, we have an assortment of gauntlets and similar weapons over on that shelf over there. Now, if you find something that suits your distinctive taste, she's real pro. Slightly shaking voice aside, she didn't miss a beat. Can't customize her weapon either. Angelica, not a permanent party member? What's wrong with this game? I'm going to sort of check some of our finished products. Of course, the second factory was allied with the reformist faction, so we can't even use our production lines anymore. It was depressing just sitting around doing nothing, so I'm trying to find ways to fill my time. <sighs> I'm actually disappointed that I couldn't go in the shrine back there, because that would have given us a, like something to do in the middle. Rather than explore, talk, explore, talk. I know we're at war, but there's no way they need to go this far. I mean, every single factory that they can't make weapons with has been closed. Why, what'd you gain by closing them? At least run them at 50% capacity. Wait, we need at least 60% to satisfy all our customers. What are they doing? Probably wrecking you somehow? Where could Lady Angelica be hiding? Those two girls told me they saw her at the Institute, but I can't see any sign of her. How long are those two planning to laze around there? They keep blaming their lack of motivation on the war, but we all know that's just a lame excuse. They've been like this since long before the war started. Master slackers. A lot of all the products here in the Empire have come about as a result of Professor Schmidt's research. He invented the technology which the former Reinford chairman, Gwyn, brought to the mass market. And yet I doubt there's a single person who's met him who hasn't at least once considered socking him. Not that I can blame them. <laughs> she really hates that guy. 
Ironically, the war has resulted in us becoming closer to the Rhinefoot group than ever. They're now under the Alliance's control too, after all. People say the war drives technological innovation. Well, they aren't wrong. They are not wrong. President Schmidt got us dealt with his research a while back. These idiots never put me through that again. All of a sudden he just showed up and said he was going to make a device to emit really powerful orbital waves. I wanted to make use of some research we've been doing, and before we knew it, he'd take some of our stuff. On top of tool, we went and used our stuff to produce all these incredible results. Or we were forced to help him during the proof of concept rounds and are like, ah, oh, never again. Man, I'm bored. I'll stay awake for a week and focus when it comes to improving my remote controlled car, but this, no chance. Actually, thinking about it, I haven't had a chance to mess with the car for ages now. Last time was before Schmidt drafted us into helping him. Oh, I'd sooner jump off the Rhinefoot building and do that again. Oh. Seems everyone feels the same way about him, don't they? And yet, all this talking in here has not yielded me a recipe, a book, or really anything. Well, I can't stand around forever. You've got to deal with it eventually. Hmm. Well, the acting chairman, hi, Ulf Wagner, called me to talk about the Arcus Ordnance, the provincial army soldiers use. I really don't want to go, but work's work. Just do I have. What's your when I've got a family to support? I've just got to swallow my pride and do what I've got to do. I keep getting orders from some weird group called the Fifth Development Division. The hell do they think they are? Actually, who the hell are they? Now they've got everyone wrapped around their finger. Those were the ones who put the order for my factory to be closed too. Ugh. Lady Angelica, that's an interesting choice of outfit you've got on there. Think of all the poor girls you're going to deceive with that. <laughs> Who, me? Besides, you want to talk. From the stories I've heard, you used to be way worse than I'll ever be. Oh my, who had the loose lips? I keep telling people to forget the lady I was in my younger years. Hey, remember how we had something important to do? No, yeah, me neither. Nah, we don't have anything important to do. Talking about girls chasing girls all the time. Since the war began, highway travel has been heavily restricted. With fewer people on the highways, more and more monsters have taken their place. Take care if you're stepping out of town. I mean, it would be very sad if anything would happen to you. Sounds like Professor Schmidt has been an ally of the Alliance for quite some time now. Well, maybe not an ally. He doesn't appear to agree with him. He just wants something interesting to research. <sighs> well, at least he's standing by his principles. I've assisted him with his research a few times before, and I'll tell you this. I could hardly keep up. Yes, yeah, it's just music time. We are checking out everywhere as fast as I can. It's time for the Makarov household. Well, Rognan is the Marquis's young brother and a count to boot. The Alliance decided to make him acting chairman, but the other directors have no say in the matter. He's supposed to be pretty well suited for the job, but I just can't bring myself to support him, you know? Unless you ask me in front of the one of the soldiers, in which case I'm his biggest fan. Bet you are. Say the right things in front of the right people, right? Right? It's still a purple cooking pot. What the hell is she cooking now? What happened to the cat, by the way? <gasps> you didn't cook the cat! Oh, please. You don't need to do a thing to help. Just sit down and I'll whip this up in a jiffy. You do more than enough by going out to buy ingredients for us. But, but the pop's bubbling over, and I'm a little concerned about that fragrant liquid you just poured in. That liquid's a special seasoning of mine. You're not the kind of person who would tell their sister-in-law that they're cooking something wrong, are you? Um, Vanilla, I'm afraid there's a grave misunderstanding here. I'm not your sister-in-law. I feel like it'd be better not to get involved here. They aren't engaged, are they? It's Reverend and I instructed the same academy, but that doesn't mean... I don't worry, I know exactly what it means. I can imagine it's difficult to get married when you're both teachers. Still, you can't put it off forever. You and Makarov need to sit down and have a talk about when you publicly announce that you're going to get married. Ah, she sees what she wants to hear. I'll never get through to her. The pot's still bubbling over. Angelica, could it be? <laughs> that it could. It's good to see you, my dear instructor. It's been some time. It certainly has, but I'm glad to see you're working with Class 7. It will look like you have the fire of conviction in your eyes. Well, there is something we need to do. We'll be back, instructor. You have nothing to worry about. I have complete faith in you. So take care. Okay, things didn't move that fast. It's just... Yeah, Makarov's sister... Yeah. Word has it that the Noble Alliance is one of the great knights spoken of in the ancient legend. The town is proof that their cause is the right one and they're going to win. I do hear rumours about it from time to time, but it'll take more than just talk to make me believe something like that. I'm sure there's some factual basis for all of this, but they must be exaggerating. Could it really be a great knight? Interesting thoughts from a kid. Feel free to use us however you please, Lady Angelica. We'll even hide you in our homes if it comes to it. Using you however I please. Spending nights huddled up together. Oh my, what an indecent proposal. We definitely have more important things to be doing right now. 
And that's safe for a fraction of a second. Now, let's do something for you. Nothing wouldn't do for you, Lady Angelica. Nothing is off limits. Lady Angelica, it's you! Guess what? We've been disseminating false information for you. You won't have to worry about soldiers coming after you anytime soon. Oh, I do believe I told you not to get involved in all of this. I'm pretty sure you're trying to help. Things will only get more dangerous from here. You good, okay? For me. Oh, you're so cool! Good luck, hey, Lady Angelica. We'll be by your side every step of the way. Everyone gives it on up to Angelica. Sister Quell, are you going out again? I'm afraid I have some rather urgent business to take care of, you see. I've already let the Archbishop know, though, so please don't worry about me. Really? Well, all right, then. You truly are busy these days. In that case, I'll handle the preparations for Mass alone. Good luck with your work. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So this is why they give him the dialogue. It's Angelica in Nunsuit dialogue. It's so depressing not having any work to do. Back when I was up to my elbows and work and giving a slack off, I never would have guessed I'd feel like this. And now I find myself pining for those days. I've never to do for ages. This room I'm going to die boredom. That you will. It's time then, Sister Quell. May the goddess watch over you. Try not to put yourself needlessly in harm's way. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I know. I ended up joining them after all. You'd asked me to remain silent on the matter, and so I did. But I don't suppose I'll be necessary any longer. I'm terribly sorry, Father. I didn't intend for your kindness to go to waste. Wow, she was on such a good act when there are moments when I almost believe her. <laughs> well, the decision to tell them has always been in your hands, not mine. Do as you see fit. I'll be here praying for success. I appreciate it. And thanks for everything, Father. So that's why we got all this new dialogue. Alright, where am I going now? Down the up? I'm going off to the left, aren't I? There's still a couple of people I technically haven't talked to. Decided to work with each other after all, did you? Guess that means you'll be taking on your dad and fixing the ride for group all at once then, huh? Damn right it does. Hmm, well, I don't give my advice out to just anybody, but I suppose I can make an exception for a pretty girl like you. That Heidel's a sad excuse for a man, but he's a sad excuse for a lot of money and connections. Best not underestimate him. As for the Marquis, sounds like he's got his hands on a new kind of soul that. I'm guessing it's a spin on the usuals cooked up by the eggheads of the Institute. Damn academics can't help themselves. Hmm. Sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Yeah, we'll have to be careful. Sounds like there's another Vanamar battle in our future, maybe. Alright then. Let's head out on the road again. I know there's the kiddo, or the parent of the kiddo over there. I don't think there's anything to actually pick up. So you think of ditching the city and heading back home? Might be up to here with these damn nobles and their stupid armies. What's we saying? You really don't want them hearing you saying that. I wish the chairman would come back. The way things are going, the Rangford Company's future is seriously bleak. Well, we're on the road again. We've done our talking yet again. We checked everyone for new dialogue. Everyone minus two, really. And the airport, but still. Right, this path leads up to the mine. Brings back memories of how we fought Crow. Yeah. But we don't have time to think about that right now. Let's keep moving. You're right. Stay alert for monsters, guys. I guess I should switch off you again for now, Angelica. You're coming in for a boss, that's for sure. It's the spiders! <gasps> well, I've knocked him back a bit. Now's our chance. Let's get him! I think I am with a shockwave. So level of these monsters is 87. Marine actually isn't that far ahead when you think about it. Petrifying Faint are high likelihood moves. Burn to ash. Fall. There's free faints My for turn. you. Now, an opening. No and problem. Green gets one. Ha. Now's our chance. Got you. That's the scam. My turn. An arc bomb monster that eats wreckage left by explosions. Detonates venomous sack on its back if it senses danger. Sia! That's the danger. You still have a lot of training to do. Laura is the danger. Uses levels up to 88. That should suffice. That's more jersey. More dodge chance. Sia! Hi! Oh, 
Right, so a whole... We know this is actually quite a few pathways to go through. There's a monster chest on our way. Still that trial chest back there as well, if I want to go get it. Cryon bits are waiting for us. We've got a little bit of fire to kind of cast out. Very well. Let's move. I can do this. So I say, I think that's a Now's our triple chance. advantage. Get Irene's on crit. So you can kill one in one go. Second form. Damn! Something tells me Elisa will just finish off anything we go for. Gotcha! Right! My Surprised turn. to have missed! Surprised My I didn't turn. kill that guy! My turn. I'm pretty Let's fast move. there, Yusis, but you're not who we want to go Damn. next. Okay, it's safe for now. Alright, cry bit scan again. Oh, there's these guys as well. They still hate the men's? Or was it the ladies they were after? Now's our chance. Let's get them! Here we go. Death Sickles. Ha! Very well. You're going to be delayed for a ton of time. And we should have probably rested and got Juice's EP back. No problem. Not that I've been using any EP Onward. things at all. My turn. Can you kill that guy, Reen? I'll handle this. It's time to crit. Bipedal Manus Monster has sharp signals on his forelegs and attacks humans next on sight. <laughs> Maybe I'm just mistaking it. I just remember those days. My turn. Certain monsters wanted to kill certain genders. We should keep going. Those days are past us. At least it's about to level up to 86 as well. We're coming up to proper monster trial chest level as well. Let's see if there's a monster in this. Oh my goodness, it's a big old dragon. That one's going to be a pain. Actually, it is going to be a pain. So what I probably should do... Let's get some more EP while we look at this guy still chasing us. Okay, he's going back now. This might actually be a challenge. I don't think I actually even got a single advantage. Right, rock times two is weak to vulnerable to delay. So I probably should just go through there with True Art Slash and get two. Right. Make sure I've got my turns to play out, you know. Fire. Dancing Owl has to be yeah. weak to Pierce. Got you. Very well. And the monster chest is coming up. We know that much. Will I just hit a big aerial? Oh. Crit on one, killed the guys Leave in the back. These rocks haven't got much left in them, have they? Let's move. Let's go with Arc Slash because I thought it would right. kill someone, but I'm completely wrong. Fire. Now! Got you! This is it for you! So close to killing people, but not close enough. I'll handle this. I'm surprised. Huh. I get the scan on the one guy at the very least. My Big turn. guy, Mr. Rock, ah. is defeated. That's that. Let's keep moving. How much experience am I going to pick up for this one? Lisa levels up. B levels up. Angelica was so close to Emma levels up. And more you material. Huh. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. Success. The more you material I can get, the better. Alright, monster chest, we're coming for you. Let's see what's inside chest number five. It's not chest number five, but how many monster chests have we got this session? Probably two. Oh, look! There's a deadly treasure chest. Let's take them out! Right! Right, the rocks get to go first. A cunning, ferocious bird that hunts on the mountain path frees its prey for carrying it back to its nest. It is coming for us, and I have no way of delaying anyone. So what I might do is just this. It doesn't work for you. 
light. Rain upon us. Insight. Okay, they're starting to cast. My turn. Green has a crazy amount of e uh, like, yeah. Impede just from attacking, if I'm right in saying. Second form. Damn! So I think we should be able to chance. wipe out quite a lot of them on this turn. Okay. I'll this. I'll handle this. My turn. The damage. How'd that guy live? I'm actually surprised. That guy's sealed, that guy isn't, that guy isn't. Die. Now's our chance! There! Full! That's one I'll down. This. You're weak to fire as a priority there. But you are weak to wind as a secondary, so let's go with... Spark Arrow, maybe. Marcus, activate! Yep, we took out the front one. What's the crown on the back gonna do? Just move towards My us a turn. little bit. I think you're doomed, you poor rare infant monster. Die. Green's on a critical as well. Everyone's still at max CP. My turn. At least we got all hers back That's from that. just the Let's keep burst, moving. didn't she? 2.6 times experience multiplier is going to give us a lot of experience. Level ups for four characters. Uh, I'm so glad. 87 Elisa, 87 Laura. Now can use True Earth Cleaver. Speed minus 25%, movement minus 50% for three turns. Splits the earth between close feet about 10%. <laughs> a matter of course. <laughs> That's about right. Angelica reaches level 90 and now gets Dragon Kick 2. An even more explosive dragon kick from above. And we get a Suzaku. Oh, we're into the good stuff now. Suzaku, what is that? Attacks grass, kills, seal, or burn, 20% chance. Strength, 25. It's really good. Especially when attack up only gives that. The problem is you need to put it on a slot, which is a two slot. I think we can do, no problem. So. If I put... Suzaku on Reen, so he's causing more, even more crazy. He'll just be sealing and burning all day, the way he works. Could move that on someone else for that hit gem. What did I just take off? I don't even know anymore. Except in vain. Doesn't really give anything more than that. And I think, to be honest, we have an absolute ton of Septium. So do I even need that? Really? Didn't realize I need to attack two up on feet. Do I really, really need that? I don't think I do. Kind of like I don't need detection really, Val. It works for me. Right, so next chest. Let's continue on our way. I think I'm gonna get anywhere near the Saxon mine by the way the things are going. Alright. I don't think we've got the scan for you guys yet. He says. It's interesting that we're traveling when we're traveling the same route. Literally the, the enemy is the ours. exact same enemies. Here we go. On the same trail as the original game. Ha! I find that very interesting. Very well. Can you take it down enough that Reeves might be able to get the finisher? I don't think you now can, can you? Chance. 
Got you! This is it for you! Leave Shame, to me. still on that scan. Let's move! Ha! I'll handle this. I guess we'll just do, do the this. move jiggling Onward. until we get Here what we, we need. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. Right, three. Just about to hit level 90 as well. Again, every level he gets higher than the enemies. Fire. Fire. It's 10% damage. You were chill too. Oh, these boxes are so nice to me right now. Can you pick that up? Need more U material. Prefer to get U material from chests like that, for example. Just over here. Find Mr. Gigantic Arthropod Spider Buddy. Oh, you saw me. Ah, oh, small leash. Fire! We got this. My turn. So now I've got Suzaku on. When I do something like Gale, second form. I have Gale. extra chance for seal. I've got four turns to seal on that guy, look. I'll handle and this. And I have a chance to burn on every attack too, which isn't that bad. <laughs> Literally only one Wait. guy is able to attack now. Fire. Onward! Sia! My turn. They're all pretty ah. much doomed. My turn. Unless you is attacking in the team. I can do this. Or you. Onward. Ha. We should keep going. Third miss in a row would have been quite amusing. Three levels up. Three levels up. I did it. Done. No new ass crafts for them yet, though. Oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? There's a treasure chest here. A red pendulum, in fact. Should I take that as a hint? Oh, step with mass as well. Brilliant. Alright, let's keep on making our way back. Making our way forward. There's three areas to go through before we even get the Saxon Iron Mining from, right? Fire! I'm kind of failing at getting you, aren't I? You turned around a lot faster than I thought you would. Now's our chance. Let's get him! Let's move. Ha! Very There's well. The burn. <laughs> we got save uses. Now, an opening. Right. Power this way. You don't have to use the DP. My turn. And this rate has suddenly gone up quite a bit. My turn. Ha! I'll handle this. You better be able to. He's on like no HP. Right. Finally, we get the hit in. Got you! We did it, Elisa. Alright, one we great really point away. Great. This thing, I think Milliam's like level 80 right now. We've gained so much experience since we've been here. <laughs> I'm leaving her in the dust, even though she was our locked in person for subquests. It's crazy. This was a real hike last time. Hey, at least we already know how to get there. Are you sure? Fire! Fire! I'm still waiting for the time a monster jumps down from above or something or is programmed to attack us in a dark alley. Where are the jump scare monsters, right? Every time I go down one of these paths, Let's move. that's all I'm waiting for. Every time. I bet you could hit both, really. There! Ha! Now! I feel like using that for 20 gotcha. damage is pretty good for him. Because he You're can finished. always refund right. himself. Ha. I'll handle this. The others that have problems with. Oh! Useless! Don't be useless. I'll handle this. This is again. This is it. Guess An opening. Revenge. Your swordsmanship continues to impress. <laughs> well, I'm in good company. 
They like to, uh... Give each other the kudos. I spy with my little eye the goods. Dragon skin shoes and chests. It's only like I've already bought a billion pairs. Oops. Wait. That's the path back. I was like, oh, I haven't been there Oh, is that new? No, wait a second. This is just literally where we came in. Oh, can we go down this way? No, we can't. The area ahead, of course, was a road to go somewhere. I can't remember where it said it was going to. Was it to Ymir? Now's our no, chance. The other way Let's to get him. Which way was it to go to? But it said, no, Here you don't go. want to go that way. I'm like, oh, okay. Second form. Damn! Wow, burn. I'll handle this. Seals on everyone. Speed Breaker 2. I'll handle no this. No one can survive this. Here I go. The most right. evil version of Arc Slash ever we've got at the moment. Onward. Huh? Arc Slash? Oh wow, actually I actually forgot. We got you Seal and all that on Arc Slash too, haven't we? To yeah. The most evil version of everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad. Always keep stacking Reen with debuffs due to his AoE potential, don't we? Just seems to be the way to go. Give him everything to burn everyone out. Life is good at that point. Only a crown bit guarding? Oh, it's a bit more than that. The advantage is ours. Let's move. And he always reaches his stuff. Second form. Damn! AT no! delay on every strike gotcha. I do. Very Whatever well. I do, there's like a billion status effects on me. Right. I just make all my strategies now. pretty much reincentive, mind you, but still. Leave this to me. My turn. It's too good. <laughs> How pathetic. They're just little monsters. You do realize you've been leveling up a lot, you so you don't need to mock them or anything. Oh, look! There's a treasure chest! Yes, but it's behind the explodey spider. We've never once seen it explode. We got this! Never Here once. HUD, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. My turn. This is it! An opening! Easily able to cut through them again. No problem. Again, I got the seal and the burn on that guy too. My turn. My turn. Status defect ah. me. That's that. Let's keep moving. Nothing can fight back against this guy. I spy with my little eye. Across the crusades. Fire. Nice little spell. I wish it was upgraded though. Fire. At least this grinding has actually provided me grinding, though I'm traveling along the right way. It's actually given me a lot of you material. So maybe I could even head back to Lua. Back away. And actually make some better courts. We should be lush. We got this. My turn. So tempted to just get that on there, but it's not gonna work. Oh, I didn't actually get a stun. I'll handle this. I'm quite surprised. Now, an opening. Really thought I would. Your life is forfeit. Right. He My might turn. be sealed, but he's not unable ah. to dodge. Oh, what the hell? My turn. Wow. Sit. Now. Gotcha. She does have plus hit on her, right? You're finished. I'll handle this. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Now's our chance. Got you. Everyone's missing. This is it for you. I know we're getting the cast to physically attack. You really do make a great team. That's a lot of misses. Oh, I got two of them. So where did this path lead again? 
This way leads to the Isengard Reign. We've got no business there right now. But will we in the future? These are the questions. Alright, a trial chest is way up on high over there. Oh, well, big dragon again. Let's not overestimate ourselves. Stay focused. He's crap. We guys are that for breakfast. I know a mantis man. I'm gonna leg it right for that chest. <laughs> New material? Nope. <gasps> oh that chest. That's a lovely chest. I touch that chest any day. That's the chest turn. I wish to touch. Second form, Gale! I'm starting to believe that second form Gale is actually part Very of the well. music for this battle theme. No problem. I'm not sure anyone would disagree with that. I'm sure that still does enough damage to kill them all. We made it out in one piece. I think Eustace's Mistral just reached level 4. Right, so now he begins with... Well, he's just got a Judgment Bolt and Holy Breath. So nice healing spells. Bought under the ATS 25% and a 20% chance of offensive art critical. Uh, I'm so glad! Silly good uses. All those nice heals on it too. Right, so this trial chest, who's this for? Not that we did the other one we could have done. Let's get this over with. Here I go. Second form. Damn! Hopefully, maybe I should stop doing this because I'm actually draining all your CP quite nicely. Very well. Right. Oh, we didn't count it because he's sealed. So no, they don't count it when they're sealed. There we go, we just found out the answer to our only question. Onward! I'm sure I probably asked that in the first right. game, but let's move. Now we have the answer. Very well. That's science. <laughs> How pathetic. <laughs> That's about right. Do you need to be level 91? I don't know. Right, trial chest. It's between Elliot and Gaius, level 89. How can you tell that Gaius grew up in a pretty extreme environment? His whole family is intense. Uh... Yes. Yes, they are. Boo. Family is definitely intense. And so here we are, Saxon Iron Mine. We finally made it. I haven't been here in a long time. Everything seems to be operating normally, though. Well, all the miners are still working away in here. The only real difference is all the Jaegers running security like I mentioned back at the diner. Yeah, they're gonna be trouble. Or maybe not. The security looks pretty sparse outside. I'm guessing most of them are focused on guarding the Isengraf. That would make sense. And to get there, we'll need to head inside, take a left, and head onto the freight platforms. So what do you say we get this party started? Any objections to running right in and punching our way through? <laughs> None here. Honestly, don't think a stealthy option would work here. I don't see anywhere for us to actually hide. While the gun's blazing approach isn't exactly what I'm fond of, it's the only thing I can see working here. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna jump down there and go, yep, yeah, we're gonna punch you now. It's the only way it works. Just a minor problem. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Speed of miners. Civilians, what are you doing here? Wait, do you know, do I know you from somewhere? Well, regardless, this mine's kind of off limits. So scram for security spots you. Seriously, I'm saying this for your own good. Security schmerity. There ain't any around. What are you talking about? I'm literally just walking through the front door right now. 
Well, Lady Elisa, is that you? What are you doing here? I mean, I'm so happy to see that you're safe, but... I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Can you tell us what's going on inside? Well, the mine's guarded by Jaegers and they're making regular patrols, but... Wait, are you seriously... Right, so, you're gonna want to stay as far away from the mine as you can. Well, alright, but be careful. Is this careful to you, just legging it straight in? I'm being the most careful, I'll have you know. Huh? Who are you? You a sister from the church? This is the Rogner family's territory. Leave at once. On the contrary. This mine is the property of the Arner family. That is how it has always been, and to pretend otherwise is an affront to none other than the Imperial family. <laughs> Sounds like my uncle's getting a little too big for his britches. Wh what was that? Wait, I recognize you. What? Too slow! We're coming through here whether you like it or not. Too slow, they've they got guns! Even know what hit them. Well, they definitely Here won't know what hit them when you're gonna critical on the first hit. They're off balance! There! Not giving him a chance! My turn. Well, we've already poisoned one bloke. He's having a bad day. He's having a bad day. Burn to ash! Fall! And now he's on fire. He's having a very bad day. Would you mind? I'll take it from here. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. <laughs> oh, fire! Analysis complete. Uh, 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 that's why I imagine's going on there. A Jaeger belonged to the Nidhogg group. Corpse contracted by the Noble Alliance completes work without fail. Ah, uh, you guys again. Level 90, though. I'll handle this. Which is something I was not expecting. Obviously, you're not going to be weak to any specific element. But equally, I could just use a normal spell. Now that you've got ADF down, probably do an absolute ton of damage. Oh no! Here I go. Uh, should we just leave him to burden, puke? You're off balance. There. Take this. You missed me. You tried. Okay. There. Critical leading into that. Impossible. I'll handle this. Poor guy. My turn. There. Time to shine. Okay. Now sped down. There. Very well. I'm just really sorry for this guy. I feel really bad for him. Here I go. We're all casting of spells course. with one another, are we? That's how things work now, yeah? We just cast spells with one another and then laugh for a bit. Huh? Huh. Many spells! Oh. This poor guy. Let's move! Impede! Now! Impossible. He never did <laughs> actually going. take a tick of poison or burn damage. Even when he was like casting, that first turn didn't count. Mirage has now reached level four. All right, EP plus how much each turn? Well, Crescent Mirror and Phantom Phobia have both been learned. EP plus nine every turn now, and 50% chance for magic evade counter. Damn you! It's the guy on the right I feel sorry for. I have the chance to look. Their equipment looks familiar. I think they might be from that Needhole group we bumped into in Nord. They were fighting together with the Lamar Provincial Army at that point, weren't they? Yeah, I think it's clear they signed a contract with my family too. Whatever. We've taken care of them now, so let's head keep going to the freight station. What's going on here? What's all the noise? Hey, miners! 
Sir, you're right. Oh, it was a little Lisa and her friends. Lady Angelica, is that you? And why are those Jaegers on the ground? Did you do this? Jaegers, Jaegers, yeah. <laughs> Wish we could cat chat and catch up. But sorry, we're a little short on time. Just to confirm, it's true the item graph is here, right? That's right. Someone on the freight platforms is heavily guard. Wait, you're not planning on getting on it, are you? We are. We're going to rescue Mother. We can reach the platforms through the door to our left. Let's go. Right. Do I want to go left? There might be treasure chests elsewhere. Obviously not, otherwise Eustace's useless sense would have picked things up, mind you. Alright, looks like the freight station is right there in front of us, ready for us to go do stuff. However, I think it is time to bring another session to an end. Right when we get to the action, finally, of this section of the act. Right when we get there. So I can't play on and I want to play on. After all the scanning of the world and getting used to going around places more apart from that. Is that even a sentence? I don't know. We do have one thing to see us out with. Yes, it's that late. It is that late. Why do you always do this? Hey, it's the same time as normal. Blame the amount of text that we had to read today just from people getting new dialogue, etc. Because that's really what went on. But we do have another chapter of Gambler Jack to read. So it's story time to see you off for yet another session, yet another week. So we read chapter 9, Good and Evil. It was roughly an hour until the first race of the day was scheduled to begin, and so they agreed to use that time to formulate their strategies. Jack was led to another room by Leonard's men. He also was also accompanied by Halley, who would serve as his advisor. Leonard's advisor would naturally be Nike. I'll take it just running away isn't an option. I mean, I'm free and all, Halley said once in the room. Jack shook his head, even if we did manage to get away, which isn't especially likely. He's not the kind of guy to just let this go. If his method doesn't work, he'll just do something worse. Worse for us, of course. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Halley said. Okay, forget it. Just had to ask. As Jack had noted, however, the odds of them being able to run away weren't particularly promising to begin with, as Leonard's men were likely to be everywhere. They pondered their predicament for a moment. Halley broke the heavy silence. Hey, Jack, has Leonard always been a bad guy like that? Jack couldn't help but smile slightly at the childish way she phrased the question. As far as he was concerned, the vast majority of gamblers, himself included, were to some degree or another, bad guys. He knew what she meant though. Both he and King had been part of the criminal underworld, but they had their morals and lines that they wouldn't under any circumstances cross. Back in the day, that had been true of Leonard and Nike too, but now... So they weren't then. I wonder what changed them, Halley mused. Jack had a pretty good idea of the answer. King's death seven years prior. After that, Jack had lost his drive, his passion. His despondency had in turn caused Nike to become disappointed in him and leave his side. Leonard, meanwhile, found a new life of his own, away from gambling. It wasn't long after that that the news of Leonard's move to politics reached Jack's ears. It was a transition that made sense to Jack too. Leonard had always been one who loved flashiness, loved to stand out. A short time though, less pleasant rumours began to spread about him. The whispers never left the realm of hearsay, but the content was enough to make Jack concerned. Bribes, suspicions involving organised crime, it was often said that power corrupted, but Jack hadn't expected it from someone he knew so well. Nike really is pretty though, Halley said abruptly. You sure you're completely over it? Flustered, Jack could only gape for a second before stuttering. What makes you think I wouldn't be? Of course I am. The expression told a different story though, and Halley immediately regretted pressing him on the subject. Uh, anyway, Jack said, this isn't going to be easy while he has Nike on his side. There are many who call her the goddess of victory for the luck she brings to men. Goddess of victory, huh? I'm guessing you're one of those men too, Victory Jack. He couldn't deny it. She was completely right. Nike's gambling skills were just as good as Jack or Leonard's, and whenever she and Jack had worked as a team, they had never been defeated. I looked intrigued when he mentioned their teamwork. The guys worked Chris together. He nodded, and it seemed as though there was more she wanted to ask, but she dropped it and changed the subject. You're going to look at all the race data they gave us then. Nah, I follow the race as it is, so I pretty much know all that stuff already. Besides, numbers don't tell the whole story. You've got to get a read of the atmosphere out on the track if you really want to score big. Looks like we'll have to wing the first one blind, though. A quick glance at the clock confirmed his dismay. The start of the first race was rapidly approaching. Will Victory Jack come out victorious? Well, it looks like even for all the talking that I've done, I didn't even find another book in this entire thing. We got that over seven hours ago we got that book. Seven hours and a half ago in the game, and I haven't still found another chapter. Hopefully I haven't missed one, but we have been talking fairly diligently around the world. Well, that said, I didn't exactly go to every area when we were flying by, seeing that the text was the same. 
fingers crossed I haven't missed a new chapter as we continue on next time on Trails of Cold Steel 2. I'll see you then for more. Bye-bye.